Hello everybody, Good Review Surplus here, and today I have a very, very special item to show you. This item took a lot of work to find. Uh, they're extremely rare, and I'm so happy to finally have one in my collection. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and take the top off of this box. Now this is probably one of the coolest items that I've ever received in the mail, and that I've ever purchased. It is a World War I Zelensky Comet gas mask. This feels unreal having one. These masks are so hard to find, and especially in um good shape like this with the rubber still being intact and stuff this gas mask is probably one of my favorite pieces of my collection and i've wanted one for so long now and to finally have this one right here is just unreal the Zelensky comet was the first fully rubberized gas mask with a activated charcoal filter making it one of the most effective gas masks of world war one although with them being fully rubberized it does make them a lot harder to find nowadays rubber usually deteriorates after 50 years which is a long time, although after 100 years, these masks are usually dust or fully solidified. And with that being said, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces of my collection. I mean, these are so rare and not a lot of people get the chance to see one of these in person or see one at all as most museums don't have them. Uh, that's just how incredibly rare they are. So to be able to show you all this one today does mean a lot to me. Uh, when it came in the mail, I was jumping with joy, man. I was so excited because this is definitely one of my favorite pieces of my collection now. You can also see right here, it does have a stamp. I had one of my friends look at it. He says that that word right there means military. Um, I'll let you all know in the description if we do find out what that stamp means. We're working on it right now. But now time to flip the mask over and show you the other side. Taking a look at the other side of the mask, you can see there's not any big difference. That Both sides of the mask look about the same, despite the other side having a stamp and the islands being cracked. I was so excited that I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video because I'm so happy to finally have one. As you can see, the islands is uh, busted on this side, although that doesn't really matter to me as I still have one to show. And it's honestly just, it's so nice to finally have one in my collection. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to have one. Now, due to the rarity of the mask, I will not be taking it in and out of the box for videos. If I make any more videos with it, it'll probably just be sitting like this near all the others. Along with displaying the mask, it'll probably just stay in this box as to keep it safe. And with all that being said, thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is a great start to 2023 with the first item that I show. The first video is a Zelensky comment. These are so cool, and I'm so happy that I got to show you one today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go check out some of the other World War I stuff. I'm sure you'll like it. Uh, but without further ado, I'll see you in the next one, and happy collecting.